Okay, so welcome back. This is um, Carol's Current Obsession, and I'm just going over how to thread your machine uh, for this vintage Morse MZZ. Okay, so you want to put your thread onto your thread post back here, and important, this thread here is wound straight across. Okay. Now if you watch my other videos, I have a thread hack if you want to use cone thread um, to show you how to do that. In this instance, however, I'm just showing you how to use a spool of thread that's wound this direction. Okay, that's just flat wound. Okay, um, so I'll just pop that on. And I kind of like the thread to come off of the back. Some people like it to come off of the front and when you're winding a bobbin to have a, the thread come off of the front of the spool actually works better but for me it seems like the tension's always better if it's coming off the back okay so the first part that we're gonna um, thread is these little dual rings right here okay and you just put it in okay now we'll bring it down and you'll notice there's a slit right here on the side. I don't know if that's very visible. Let's see if we can do that. Um, there's a little slit here and that is where your thread's going to go, is right in the slit. Now you bring your thread up, okay, and over, catch the little wire arm and then bring it down and catch the larger arm okay then bring your thread back up and catch the cox crow or whatever you call that I always call it the cox comb or crow or whatever anyway anyway I don't know what it's called this doohickey <laughs> another doohickey okay so you got that so here here over to there, then this arm, then up here, okay, and then through this little what, roundabout doohickey right here, and then through this one, and then by right next to the needle, okay. So hopefully you can see that. All right. And then the next thing to do is just thread your uh, needle. Let's see if I can do that. Getting old here, folks. All right, thread your needle. Hold your thread over here to the side. Go down once. Your needle will have gone down once and then pull up with this thread and you'll pull up the bobbin with it the bobbin thread okay shut your bobbin case and you're ready to sew okay and I'll show you some of the controls as well okay so this measures your stitches per inch here you got a little window and down here you can see um, it kind of tells you the the width of the stitches as well so it'll show you oh you're getting really teeny tiny stitches clear down to it's not going to move your buttonholing and clear up here where you have basting stitches and you can see that by the dots down here okay and this is your um, your zigzag now they do this a little oddly and you have to kind of position it um, so say you want the three, then you uh, put that down and screw that down and then go within there and then you're going to have the three. Okay, and so you can move it over and it does the same thing. <laughs> so, you know, you, this is just a little screw to tighten it down so it doesn't move when you're stitching your zigzag. Okay, that is about it. That is as simple as it is and as easy it is. And to do a straight stitch, you want this over as far as you can. 
and this one as well. So you want the little red line on the zero for your straight stitch. Okay. And the last thing is this button down here, you'll notice it says normal silk and tack. This raises and lowers your feed dogs, okay? And it makes it how hard the fabric is grabbed as it goes under the, the presser foot, okay? So if you have it on normal, that's for almost everything, okay? Silk is for really light fabrics where you don't want it to grab as hard. And then tacking is when you want it to basically stay in place. You don't want to move the fabric. And so the feed dogs go down while it stitches, okay? And uh, here's a cool thing. This, okay, when you sew, mostly is off to the left. So this is it's a Japanese machine. It's called left homing. So if your needle looks like it's always off to the left and you can't figure out why, it's because they just made them that way. I don't know why, but they did. Um, I don't really know why. But anyways, it'll stay there, okay? There's no amount of adjusting this that will make <laughs> this needle stitch a straight stitch in the center. It'll unless it's you have a machine that specifically moves the entire needle assembly arm over it is always going to be stitching to the left okay so when you're like figuring out your quarter inch seams and stuff like that you're going to be like ah well it makes a perfect five eighths here when it's to the left maybe that's why they did it i don't know anyway Great machine, <laughs> awesome straight stitch. It absolutely purrs. Um, I'm gonna take this out so that I can have you listen to it for a minute. I mean, nice, nice machine. Uh, this is one of my very favorites. Um, yeah. So I use my sew more for quarter inch seams. I use this for sewing clothing and it's perfect okay and that's the more zigzag and i hope it's helped you out thanks and take care bye bye